Hi, my name is Steve from Conductive Labs, and in this video we're going to talk about the MRCC Power, the MRCC Sleep State, and the screensaver. Firstly, um, if you look up there, you see the screen's off, we can power the unit on, and it basically takes a USB-C with the dongle that's included with the device. Now this cable um, does not carry data. If you're going to plug your computer in, you need to use the port up top. When the MRCC booted, it showed the um, firmware version as well as the preset that's loaded. That's about it for the power. Now let's talk about sleep. There's a green button just above the screen and if you hold it for about two or three seconds you'll see that the screen goes blank and so does the USB ports and if you uh, send any MIDI data and you actually are not because it's off literally the no power coming out or click on it on the buttons on the unit uh, it will not wake up. The only way to wake it up is by pressing the green button, and it wakes up pretty fast. Um, and that powers everything down to a low state, so there's very little power consumption in that mode. There is a setting in the settings menu that allows you to leave the USB port power on, so any devices connected will not power down, but that's your choice in the settings menu. Lastly is the screensaver, but before I talk about the screensaver, I want to talk about the screen um, and the LED brightness. Again, in the settings menu, you can come down here and you can reduce the screen brightness as well as the, uh, make the LEDs a little brighter or lighter. Um, we also have a very new feature called the screen off feature. It turns out that OLED displays can have a burn-in issue, and so we added this screensaver setting so that we can turn off the screen after so many minutes of inactivity. Um, activity comes in a couple forms. One is if you press a button, it'll reset that timer. If you play a MIDI note, it'll reset that, that timer, and so you'll have to wait until the last activity before it turns off the amount of time in the settings. We did, however, on the U on the um, MIDI side, we are not um, resetting the timer when there's a um, clock event or an active sensing event. So those two MIDI um, messages will not reset the timer. Let's go ahead and change it down to five seconds so we can watch it happen. So it'll just take a second, five seconds actually. <clears throat> and as soon as it does, I can actually play a note. And then you see the screen turns back on up there. And we can uh, wait another five seconds and then I can press any button on the unit and it will turn on also. This is not a low power state. It's not the green button. It just turns the display off like it just did so that we don't have any burn-in issue. Um, I actually like to keep mine at a few minutes, like maybe three or five minutes. And that pretty much means that while you're using it, you'll never notice the screen turn off. But if you get up and walk away or go do something else, the screen will power down. And uh, you know, that's a good state for the screen to be in. Um, Let's see. I think that's about it for this video. So thanks so much for watching and uh, hope you come back for the next video. And that's going to be on our LED light show, which is super cool. Thanks so much.